Good morning, church. Very good morning to you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled Strive to be trustworthy. Strive to be trustworthy. I'm going to read to you from Proverbs 11 and verse 13. It says, A gossip betrays a confidence, but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. You know, betrayal is worse than gossip. A gossip may not necessarily harbor ill will toward his or her victim. But a betrayer knowingly divulges information in a breach of confidence. They commit relational treason by violating the trust someone has placed in them. Judas was in a position to betray Jesus with very little effort because he was familiar with his coming, with Jesus coming and Jesus going with the game, with the team. The Bible says this about Judas in John 18 verse 2. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place because Judas knew Jesus because Jesus has often met them and with his disciples. Judas used this inside knowledge of Jesus' tendencies to hurt him. Then later, his behavior engendered with such self-lifting that he committed suicide. Acts of betrayal eat away at your self-esteem and your sense of dignity. One more time. Acts of betrayer eat away at your self-esteem and sense of dignity. Let me ask you some questions. So, have you ever breached a confidence? If so, why did you do it? What was the reward for the breach of confidence or the negative rewards of the breach of confidence? Did you gain some insight advantage? What were you envious or resentful of at the time when you betrayed your friends? Was there an unresolved conflict between you and the other person? Have you repented of what you did? Conversely, has someone betrayed your confidence? If so, were you reaping what you had sown? What valuable lesson did you learn from it? Remember, if you can betray someone, someone else can also betray you. Have you freed yourself, your offender in your heart, and no longer desire retribution, revenge? And betrayer. If not, you are still bound or born to them. And they are controlling your life, your words, your thoughts, as well as your behavior. Drop it. Remind yourself that all things work together for good to those who love God. In Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Strive, we said, listen here, church, brothers and sisters, strive to become a trustworthy person others can depend on to guard their secrets. One more time. Strive to become a trustworthy person others can depend on to guard their secrets. And if you are blessed to have a trustworthy friend yourself, thank God for them and you yourself be trustworthy as well a friend to others amen hallelujah let's pray father we pray that you bless every one of us as we strive to be trustworthy bless our lives bless people around us and bless this day all this we pray in jesus name amen god bless you and you have a great day